We've been busting Chum's chops about having to work while we go to Sturgis without him. But we're actually gonna surprise him with a bike for his 30th birthday and bring him along. So I'm checking out an old Harley I found online. This is it, huh? This is it. 1985 FXRS. Sweet bike, great handling. This is actually the first Harley I ever owned. What made this bike popular is pretty much every Hells Angel rode these for years. I'm not a Hells Angel. <laughs> I'm selling my 1985 Harley Davidson FXR Lowrider. I have a lot of work done to my bike. $7,500 just in the engine alone. I'm interested in newer bikes, but I'm also moving due to my job, so I don't want to keep it any longer. So what can you tell me about the bike, man? It's been with me for about three years now. It handles great, and it's even one of those sneaking peeks. Anybody pull up next to you, they think they're going to get you. Boom. Yeah, they're, they're known for being fast, man. As you can tell, a lot of work's been done to it. You got the SNS carburetor, Super G. Gives it the fuel that it needs to accelerate real quickly. You got the two and the one exhaust. You got the RevTech heads, ported and polished to give it the compression and high performance pitch that you want. Pretty much all just to make it go faster, right? That's what it is. Could you start it up for me? Sure, no problem. Sounds good. How much are you looking to get out of it? I was thinking somewhere around about 10, 10, 5. 10,000 is a little steep. I'm buying it for a friend of mine, and for you know, 3,000 more, I can go buy him a brand new bike almost. I really want someone to check it out before I commit to anything. You mind if I give a buddy of mine a call? OK. All right, man, I'll be right back. I'm going to give him a All call. All right. Well, here's the deal, Danny. We're going to Sturgis this year. It's Chumley's birthday. I might as well do something nice for him. Yeah. So I'm thinking about getting him a bike. Nice. That is nice, man. You know, this is the quintessential, you know, beginning of a club bike right here. The reason you call it a club style bike is a lot of the bike clubs do their bikes in a certain fashion. Undercover, low profile, blends in with 50 other bikes. So when you run from the cops, nobody can really pick you out of a crowd. <laughs> I mean, the bike just looks really clean, really in good shape. Doesn't look like it's been abused or anything like that. But uh, we've got a little bit of oil seeping out of the, the front head up here. We can fix that. I don't think that's gonna be a big issue right there. I really don't. I think I'd maybe just like to fire it up, just run it down the road and back a couple times, see how it feels. Fine by me. Harley-Davidson FXR is a very tight, package. It's not a big bike, yet it has all the big bike stuff in it. It's a great riding bike. You can go a long distance and still be very comfortable. Everything that the seller has done to this bike is really, really nice. Uh, he's got very good taste in his design. The bike rocks. I'm digging it. So what do you think, my man? You know, it really feels right. Everything feels very sound on it. You can pick up, you know, some old FXRs pretty inexpensively. I've seen them for four or five grand. With that being said, if you want to deck this out for Chumley, you got a really good head start because he's already got a, a bunch of really nice things on it. I would safely say that this bike is in the the seven to seven thousand five hundred dollar range. You're saying seventy five. I'm saying ten five. I hear you. It shows that you've got a lot in it. It really does. But you know, I'm looking at what's out there and what's available right now. Appreciate it, man. I'd love to do the work. I hope you, hope you, if you score this, I want to do it, OK? Yeah, you know there's nobody else I'd use. He was a little bit taken, you know, when I said seven to 7,500 range. It's really easy to dump money into a, a vehicle that might not necessarily return that money back to you. This bike, if you look at the value of it, it's right around 85 to 13. Got to give me like nine. You got a lot of work into it, but I just can't pay that much, man. I. Are you like five grand? No, 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 no. I mean, when it's all said and done, it's an 85 FXR. I understand that. I'm saying like seven, eight. You can make that back off of it if you sell it to the right person. Problem is, I'm not selling it. Well, if you're not going to sell it, then you, you got to come to me with a better offer. I mean, man, I can get these for four or five grand all day long. I mean, I'm willing to go up to 65 because of the work you've had done to the motor. <sighs> 65, your bottom line, huh? This is the most I'm going to pay for it, dude. <sighs> you beat me up on this one, man. I'll take that 65. All right, man. I'll be back a little later to pick it up. All right, man. Appreciate it. I'm pretty stoked about getting the spike. I'm pretty sure Chum's going to love it. And if he doesn't, hell, I'm keeping it for myself. Wow.
This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.